All right, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Juice, with Mom's Basement Streams, here with my friend, Caroline, sitting directly to my left. Or, well, it'll probably actually be your right. But, anyway, that's not the point. The point today is we are here to bring you some Magic the Gathering action, as I usually do weekly on the channel here. And what do we have today? Well, we have nothing more or less than some Sealed Throne of Eldorain, or Eldorin, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But I like Eldorain, so I will say Eldorain until I die, and you cannot stop me. So, we have enough to hop right in here, purchase ourselves a spot in this sealed event, and let's just let's just hop right into it. Let's open up our six packs. Um, something to keep in mind is Caroline has no idea how to play Magic the Gathering, and she's going to be learning today so that is going to be great and by learning i mean she's probably just going to be watching me confused as hell to what i am doing but she's here for the commentation um potentially just if she finds her voice um but if she doesn't find her voice um well we'll we'll just see how that goes also i apologize we have like so much glare in the background right now like i'm just maybe if i like put my head in front of the sun it'll make it like more bearable it's like that work i feel like i'm only making the problem worse you're making the problem worse I'm going to sit back over here. Do, do, do. Hmm. Oh, right. Hey, uh, shout out to myself. I have a thousand followers on TikTok now, so. She does have a thousand followers on TikTok right now. Baby son from the Teletubbies. I l it is the baby son from the Teletubbies behind us. That is actually exactly what's going on here. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get into some magic. What We opened up our pre-release pool. So we have this guy. Let's see, he's a two-mana, 5-4. Can't attack unless defending player has seven or more cards in their graveyard. And he can't block unless we have four more cards in our hand. And then we can tap him to make each player put the top card of their library in their graveyard. In this card, whenever you draw your second card each turn, it deals three damage to any target. That's saucy as frick. This guy, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses a life. These two... Sound super saucy together. Isn't that right, Caroline? Yeah, sure, whatever. You know the sauce when you see it. Uh, we have this. Return target creature with converted mana cost X to its owner hand. You can create X11 one, one blue fairy creature tokens with flying. That sounds dope as frick as well. When this enters the battlefield, it fights up to one creature we don't control, and we can sacrifice the food to put a counter on it and make it gain indestructible and tap it. Wow, that's a lot of words. Then we have Happily Ever After. When it enters the battlefield, each player gains five life and draws a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are five or more colors among permanents you control, and there are six or more card types among permanents you control and others in your graveyard, and your life total is greater or equal to your starting life total, you win the game. That is way too complicated to play around, so that's going to stay right over there. Coral recognizes the sauce. Coral, you do recognize the sauce. Yes, I do. You're actually only being referred to as Coral for the rest of the night now. Um, yeah, that's what my roommate's calling me. Good. So, feel free. <clears throat> You're only going to be Coral now. You're doomed. Okay, good. Oh, God. Uh, so let me just, like, look through here really quick. What do we have? Um. Wow. This seems rough, Caroline. Don't you agree? With all of your magic prowess and expertise, don't you agree that this just looks really rough right now? Yes, I'm an expert at uh, magic, just so you know. Okay. I know everything that's going on. Um, so I want to start building. I think I think we need to build around blue here because this card seems like it just wins the game. Um, this card seems pretty dope too. We we have some flyers, you know. Those, as you know, since you are a veteran magic player, that flyers and sealed events are just like detrimental to us winning the game. Um. Oh, this, this also works off drawing the uh, second card each turn. I like that. If three blue mana was spent to cast the spell, it enters with a plus one, plus one counter. Oh my goodness. Um, Untap stuff? I don't know if I like that. Frogify. It turns something into a frog. I like frogs. Do you like frogs? Um, that reminds me of Final Fantasy VII, and I have nightmares from that, so. Wow. Big mood. <laughs> Um, didn't say please. I like that card because it insinuates that someone didn't say please. What else do we want? Do we want to be in like red and black? Do we want to go for a three color deck with like no mana fixing, Caroline? 
I absolutely know what that means. You absolutely know what that means. Um, I don't like that either. Oh my god. That seems pretty dope. We're putting that guy in there. Boom. Thunder Snapper. Whenever we cast a spell with converted mana cost 5 or greater, we draw a card. Do we really just want to be drawing cards? I think that sounds okay. So are, are we just going to go for 3 color, Caroline? Is that what this is looking like? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you, finally. I was just waiting for your input as the pro player here. Um, That sounds good. I want to get some draw power going on here, see what we can do. Uh, do we have any black spells that draws cards? Turn night card from your graveyard to your hand. That's not drawing. <laughs> right? God, you know that. Mm. Oh, what's up? Is that Andrew near me in my chat? What's up, Andrew? I see you. I saw you the other day. That was very nice to see you, because I haven't seen you in like 500 years. That's probably a very accurate date and estimate as well. Um, Target non-creature artifact you control comes a 0, 0, and you put four counters on it. That sounds dope as frick. Maybe we should get some artifacts in here. Um, sacrifice of food. I don't think anything in black is actually drawing us cards. Um, these actually seem okay. They're flying and they mill everybody. Maybe we'll mill our opponents out. Uh, put that there. Baked into a pie. We can we can bake people into pies in this set, Caroline. I'll bake you into a pie. That's violent. <laughs> um, two start creature. I control target creature. You don't control creature. You control it's plus two plus one. And if it's a knight, those creatures fight each other. Wow. I feel like this wants us to play monocolored, but it didn't set us up, Caroline. So we can't play monocolored. How dare they? I know. I know. Um, we have Ginger Brute. We can put this Brutish Gingerbread Man in our deck. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. He's frothing at the mouth. He's rabid. Like Raymond's Raving Rabbids. Um, how many adventures would we have? One. Yeah, that card's not worth it. That card's not worth it at all. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm terrible. Uh, let's see here. Do you maybe want to go for green instead? Do we have a lot of draw power in green? We could just take red out. Um. What is that something we really want to go with? Maybe we could take out black. No, I kind of like that. I'm like, I'm so confused here. I don't know what we should do. I, f I, f I feel like there's no good way for us to, uh, do what we want here. What, what are these cards doing? Add a mana of any color. It's a mana dork that does the same. Um, why am I crafting? Get out of there. I actually kind of like that. What if we took out red? And then put in green in its place? Or like, what are we seriously getting from black right now? We're getting some creature destruction. Um... I don't really like that. See, maybe we should just go with with some blue-green action in here. Get some Simic going on, because you know what that means. Yes, I do. Sweet. I know everything about magic. Um, I like that guy. I like that guy. I like that guy. Hmm? We can make our guys as tall as a beanstalk. Like Jack and the Beanstalk? Tall boy. Like he would be a very tall boy. A long, tan, and handsome. Very much so. Maybe we do want to put black in here still. I feel like this mana base is going to just kill us, Caroline, completely. And you still know what that means. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like we had something else in here. Or am I just losing my mind? It's completely possible that I'm just losing my mind right now.
Hmm. Well, now I'm trying to think here. That's where it's getting dangerous, because I'm thinking now. Uh, Golden Egg can go in because it gives us a draw. I like Ginger Brew, just because I want to put the Gingerbread Man in our deck for no reason whatsoever. It's not actually beneficial, nor do I think it's actually going to help us. Cryptic Owl is lurking. Is that one of your friends? Yep. Good. Your friends are so welcome. Hi, Cryptic. Crypt thick with two C's. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, well, I think this is going to be our deck. I think I'm going to make Abe angry because he asked me to turn this into a deck list to actually put in our streams deck list, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm just not going to. Oh, are we baby raging in the chat? I love baby rage. If there was any kind of baby, I would want it to be an angry baby. So let's, and that's why we're friends. let's keep some angry babies in the chat. If I stop seeing angry babies, I'll be an angry baby. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for our sealed deck. What do you think, Caroline? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page always. Um, I feel like I didn't actually put any effort into building this and I was heavily distracted the entire time, but maybe drinking some alcohol will help me alleviate my confusion or just greaten it by fold. You're nodding like it's a bad idea. But I'm not even like it's a good idea. Oh, I'm not even like it's a good idea. Just do it, bro. All right. Well, I'm gonna drink all this alcohol, but people also still can't see my face because as the sun's setting, it's actually just glaring out our camera more and more by the second. Um, so hopefully, we'll just stare at the content on screen instead of our ugly faces that are being blinded by the light. Take a sip, brother. I will as we wait to get paired with our first opponent of the night. They're doomed. Specifically because I'm gonna ask you for help and um. You know, you're actually a magic pro. So I feel like since you're a magic pro, we have this down. All I right. Know everything. We're against Die Fi. It's like Wi Fi, but more dangerous. Um, and this hand actually looks dope as frick, my dudes. So we are keeping this all day long. We actually have a curve. We have all three of our colors. We have those sexy, unstable islands. Mm. Mm. We're going to play this guy. He's going to mill out every player and make it so if our opponent draws cards, they are just screwed. That's right, die fi. Um, it's also going to accelerate it so we have a 5 4 to attack within like two turns. I'm excited. Does it just mill a single card every time? Sweet. Um, we're just going to mill Caroline. How's that sound? Do you even know what mill means? Absolutely. Okay, well, how dare I question your div your divine authority on the topic of Magic the Gathering. You're uh, just practically the Pro Tour champion right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're playing with uh, Storm Fist and Crusader. I love that guy. We almost played with him. I also feel like this card's going to be hard for us to cast. But we're going to attack for one. Mill both players. We get a land. They get a land. Mill with that because we can't block his guy anyway. We draw an extra card. Let's see, there's three cards in our opponent's graveyard. We can almost attack with this guy. I'm gonna play this guy too. Shit, we should have played uh, Island last turn because we could make this guy come in with a counter on him. How dare I? Misplay of the century. Fuck, and he destroyed our, our big thicky boy. How dare he? How dare he? Um, I feel like this is a better use of our mana. We're definitely swinging for one, because we swing for the fences here. Isn't that right, Caroline? Exactly. We have our opponents on the rope. We have baked into a pie in our graveyard. We're milling cards every turn. This set seems really slow, but I like it. Because you can bake your opponents into a pie. We're going to play a Thunderous Snapper next turn, too. Get some card advantage rolling out. <clears throat> Are you a Thunderous Snapper? Is that what that was? Yeah, I am. Nice. 
I also feel like the second that the sun stops blinding us, uh, the stream is actually going to improve tenfold in content, quality content. That's my hope, at least. But if you're joining us tonight, hi, thanks for wasting your Saturday by watching me play video games on the internet at, well, for us right now, what is 7 o'clock? Um, I'm going to take some damage. Now that I did that, they're going to deal a lot more damage, maybe? No? Well, that's nice. Ogre errant, or as I wanted to read it, ogre eggplant. But that's not how you read it. You're an ogre eggplant. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> now I'm going to play a cat. Morale. Uh, hit our opponent for three, down to 11. Mill each of us a card. Draw on their turn. They're down to 10, Caroline. I think we actually have this in the bag. Yeah. Right? Um, we can also take out their Storm Fist Me Crusader with our Wicked Wool. I know. It's exciting. Wicked. That's wicked, bruh. Ah, 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 ah. Wicked. Ah, get it? Ah. <clears throat> I'm slowly dying. Um, but what's our opponent going to do? That's the real question here. Can we turn the sun off? It's just getting worse as the seconds go by. <laughs> or like, wait, does it help if I scoot if I scoot my gamer chair over this way? But like, I also don't want to cut you off the stream. Wait, okay, so like, see, like, wait, let's... <laughs> now, wait, okay. So I just need to hold my head in exactly this position in order to make it so you can actually see us. Also, our opponent's attacking for five right now. This is important, but I'm choosing to not let it be. You look like a flashlight right now. I am a flashlight right now, and I'm just trying to like move your your cup so I can see where I need to put my head. Um, but I'm just gonna scoot in really close and hope that fixes everything. And Caroline, you're now just like a side accessory. But I was. I'm, I'm like that always. I was trying to like be really progressive and have us be like co-streamers, but I guess that's just not the case. How dare you? Very true. But we will hit our opponent for three down to seven, mill everybody a card, and then pass back to our opponent, because we the baddest magic mofos around. Ain't that right, Caroline? Yes. Bingo. I know everything that's going on. I believe it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any way we can win here. This is actually just really close, and I'm like not even acknowledging the fact that we've been like neck and neck this entire game but that's okay wait if we can survive this turn we kill our opponent on their next turn with their activation of storm fist me crusader aha, aha, aha. um ooh ooh we have a smitten swordsman oh crap we're at one life. Caroline, we've been goofed on by our opponent's smitten swords master. We've been goofed on. We have. That's that's gonna be some GG's um into some scoops. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just using popular terminology. You're gonna scoop the whoop. I scooped a whoop all day long. And we got scoop defeated! Because of our own ignorance. Because of the ignorance of man. Is that like getting too philosophical for the stream, Caroline? What do you think? Yeah, a little bit. I'm willing to accept philosophy into my life. Also, the sun's still getting brighter. I'm combating this very slightly. I feel like I just like scooch my chair up to the point where my stomach's being eaten by my desk. Maybe like this is just a reason I should lose some weight. Who knows? Um... This hand is, like, keepable but slow. What do you think, Caroline? No? Okay, sweet. Well, we're keeping it anyway. Okay. We have all of our mana. <clears throat> and a mana dork. You're a mana dork. You too. My feelings, they're hurt it did. Wait, I want, I want to see if they can actually pick you up when you're talking. Uh... Okay, you're probably, like, mildly quiet, but that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. Okay. Um, 
We're going to go with a forest and a pass the turn. Our opponent is probably going to do something else, like play a land and pass the turn. A swamp. Ooh. That's where Shrek lives. Me too. Nice. We found another blue source for our stolen by the Fae. Our opponent is leaving up two mana and passing, though. How very interesting. They're in combat with no creatures and still deciding if they want to do anything. Silly opponent. Isn't that right, Caroline? Very silly. Well, we're going to cast our Rose, Rose Thorn Acolyte as a creature so we can tap it for mana on our next turn. I know. It's really exciting. And if anything happens to it, we can still cast this Wicked Guardian. But if it stays alive, we get to deal two damage to our Mana Dork to draw a card. Do we have an extra card? Intriguing. I'm absolutely fascinated. I wonder if they're going to take the Guardian or Stolen by the Fae. What do you think? If you were my opponent, would you, which one would you take? You know, it's just such a difficult decision, you know. <laughs> I feel that. Um... I actually, like, just did that really wrong, but that's okay. We still gotta draw our card, and now we have a baked into the pot. Baked into a pie in our hand. Um, depending on what you guys just heard, we heard a child scream outside. Uh, press F in the chat if you want that child to actually be okay. Is that, is that guilt tripping too much? <laughs> no, I think it's okay. It's okay to guilt trip people? This just in it's okay to guilt trip guilt trip people. Me too. We're gonna pay this adamant cost though to bring it in with an additional plus one plus one counter. Play our cauldron familiar, and then attack for four and probably just make them chump block with this knight. That is exactly what our opponent decides to do. Isn't that just kooky? Wow, that's so kooky. Thank you. Oh my god. I feel justified in my actions. I'm going to come back over here, though, and grab some more of my alcoholic beverage. It's a blue motorcycle, in case you're wondering why it looks like Smurf blood. Do we actually know what Smurf blood looks like? I'm legitimately curious. Do, we, do you know? If you... I actually don't know. With all the knowledge that I have, I can't say that I've seen a Smurf bleed. It sounds really dark when you say it like that. I was, I was like asking like a scientific question, and you're like asking like a sadistic question. That's all I'm saying. I wish our opponent wouldn't take 17 years to decide what the fuck they're gonna do. Oh, there we go. They tapped our thing, and then they played a thing. Do you know what we should do? Play a thing. We should, we should play a golden egg, like in that one fairy tale. Um, I'm going to play this boy and then swing with that boy. And if our opponent swings at us, that's what I want. That's what we want, Caroline. Yeah. Also, you don't know, but the entire art and concept of the set was designed around fairy tales. Wow. I know. <clears throat> Caroline's an art student, so I thought she'd find that specifically interesting, but apparently that is not the case whatsoever. I actually had a teacher who worked on uh, Magic Gathering art. You're just telling me this now? Yeah. What What was your teacher's name? Um, Eric Olson. Although I could be incorrect, <laughs> but it seems like something he would do. Is it with? Is it just C? Okay. Now we're searching him up. Huh. I don't know. We're trying to see if we can find his card art right now. That's why I'm like staring off to the side here. Uh, need of combat on your turn. Your opponent may sacrifice a creature. If that player does, tap it and you gain three life and draw a card. Well, if he didn't do magic, he for sure did this. We'll just sack that. Um, I actually think that was wrong. I'm not even reading right now. 
But we're gonna bake this guy into a pie. Um, right? And then we're gonna attack our opponent for six, draw a card off of this okay adversary. Now we have a counter spell, and we're gonna pass back. We're trying to find if Caroline's teacher actually did art on um any magic cards. I don't know. We'll figure this out later, but right now I'm like very interested. Uh, we're going to counter this guy. We don't want our opponent making tokens. Mill our opponent a ton of cards. Get out of here, opponent. Seven cards in the graveyard, so if we hit our um, gargoyle, he's, he's a creature who can attack. Wow. Very interesting. Wait, sorry, I have to slide this way. <laughs> I'm very constricted in my movement right now, and it's making me mildly uncomfortable. <coughs> Also, my throat is sore, so if it sounds like I'm talking weird today, that's probably why. I mean, it's just because I haven't shut up today. Kellen, can you think of a moment today in which I actually shut up? No. Same. Well, we're going to swing for six again. And see what our opponent decides to block. The entire time I've known you, you haven't shut up. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> That is the exact attack I want our opponent to make, because they're a dum-dum. Um, I actually mean towards our opponent. Sacrifice this food token and pay a black mana. Oh, you don't have to play mana. Wow. That's cool as frick, bro. Well, our opponent's at 10 and we're at 22, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. We have a spell that taps one of their creatures and doesn't let it untap, so it's essentially useless. And of course you know that, because you are a Magic the Gathering master, Caroline. Yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, I should have put your... I wasn't even thinking about it. Give me a minute, and I'll put your social media in my um thing, if you want it there. If you don't want it there, I won't. But... No, I don't care. They're putting us in a glass casket. Mildly morbid, but I'll accept my fate. I'm going to keep this golden egg just in case we need to pay double black mana for like another bacon to a pie. Huh. Okay. Well, they killed our creature. I'm upsetty spaghetti. Are they going to swing for three? Heck yeah, they are. No blocks. We'll take that damage break, Caroline. All right, Josh. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Sorry, I've been losing my voice. As you mentioned earlier. That's true. Well, we're going to hit our opponent for three and draw two cards. We'll play this land and pass. And we can turn one of their things into a frog. Oh, boy. Caro, Caro. That's how you say ribbit in Japanese. <clears throat> there would be no reason I know that. I'm not gonna see. I feel like I can like move my camera back up now since the sun's like dying slowly. Take that, sun. We're going to play a wicked wolf, though. And kill their creature. Ooh, look at that. Go to combat. Four, five, six, seven. Is that exact ease? That is exact ease, Caroline. Wow. Boom. That's that's a win. Oh my god. We totally just grinded our opponent out of this game. We were grinding harder than teenagers at a middle school Christian dance. Yeah. Just so you know, he, would, he didn't play it as well as I would have, so. Honestly believable. I'm sorry that I even brought it up in the first place. <laughs> I know, I, have a lot to learn. I know my place under Caroline. <laughs> the the Pro Tour champ over here, Caroline. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's Again, okay. I know absolutely everything. Everything there is to know about the game of Magic the Gathering. Caroline practically invented the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I made all the art. I wrote everything. You could be a Magic the Gathering artist. I could be, but... Well, not now, but, like, in the future. 
Never you, know. You should be. I'm calling it now. She will be. Okay. And if she's not, then hold her to it. <laughs> huh. All right. Well, this hand isn't, like, great, but there's color fixing and golden egg, and it's also a redraw. And then we also have foreboding fruit in case we just don't find blue mana in the slightest. So I'm uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. I am comfortable with it. We're going to play an eye collector, though, to start milling ourselves and our opponent out in case we find our sphinx. That's kind of brutal. He's, like, just stabbing an eye. That's how it be. Sometimes it really just do be that way. Can you believe we've already been live streaming for half an hour today? Wow. I know, right? I feel that's because, like, we are. Also, we also had a five-minute intermission because of, like, how much of a problem I was having with actually trying to get um, our stream to start today. They just milled me four. They did. What jerkwads. How dare they? Right. That's what I'm saying. How can I sacrifice a food if I don't have one? Well, we'll know every player one, myself included. And end of the turn. We have a lot of flyers, so I feel like we'll be good. And we're like removal heavy. Those are like the two things we want to be. Which of course, once again, you know that. Yes. Thank you. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm slowly dying. So, Midnight Clock. You can pay a blue, pay three to put a counter on it. Gain of your upkeep, put an hour counter on it. When the twelfth hour counter is put on it, shuffle your hand and graveyard in your library, draw seven cards, and exile it. Oh, so it's just a redraw effect. Interesting. Okay, and you still know what that means, of course. Yep. I know absolutely everything. Can't repeat that enough. Um, so we're going to pay a swamp here because I'm going to pay a black, sacrifice this to add a black, and then pay this targeting myself to draw two cards, make a food, sacrifice that food to play this guy to gain a life and drain our opponent another life, go to combat, hit our opponent down to 17, mill both of us, and then pass back. And they're going to put another counter on this Midnight Clock. But I think we're doing pretty well. We found another blue source. We can now use removal in the form of Baked into a Pie. Or if we find another green source, use our Wicked Wolf. We have Charm Sleep for more removal as well as Frogify. So we're going to be playing, I think, the slow game here, Caroline. Wow. Yeah. You know, so it's a way to do it. It's, it's very much so a way to do it. You're correct. Perhaps. Wow, they're making more food. It's making me hungry. I like food. Did I ask you? Well, I, I asked myself. Oh, that's very nice. I love to do that. Wow. You're so right. All right, we're going to destroy their 4 4 trampler here. And we're going to hit them for one. Down to 16. We're playing the slow game, Caroline. And we have this Wicked Wolf to attack into things that they might play on the next turn. I do not want them to play this, though. We actually, this is a bomb. I hate that. We set them up for victory, Caroline. Cool. I was lulled into a false sense of hope. Um, well, at least we have removal for it in the form of Frogify. We can turn it into a frog. Yeah. That makes it pretty useless. Can I get some baby rage in the chat, please? Can we please get baby? <laughs> Put some angry babies in my chat, goddammit. I love me some angry babies. This is encouragement for Josh. I need it. His, his time of need. I'm so needy right now. Um, well, let's just full send. Well, Wicked Wolf our opponent's creature and play an eye collector look at this i'm great at this game 
and end our turn. I'd say you're mediocre at best in this game. You're right. I should accept my critiques where they're due. <laughs> I feel like they're just going to play this Lock Mirror Serpent, and then we're going to tap it down and go hammy time. Oh, no, they're not going to do that. Okay. Once upon a time. Um, they're grabbing a creature or land from the top five and putting it into their hand. Damn, I come back and Coral is fucking savage. Coral is fucking savage, 24-7. Feather Ferns, I need some baby rage. Please put some baby rage in the chat. Well, we're going to draw a card. We're not really doing a lot, but... uh. That's a lot of baby rage. Thank you, Feather. If you were barbecue sauce, you'd be sweet baby rage. <laughs> They're going to shut down my Twitch channel because of that joke. Well, this isn't... Well, technically, technically this is j my beautiful, sexy employer, Joshua Warren's channel. But um, if they shut that down too, I guess that would suck. More so for him than me. But like, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Why aren't they playing their creature yet? Are they scared we have a counterspell? That must be it. And of course, Coral, you know this because you are a magic pro. Yes. Unless they have a counterspell. All the counterspells. I can't wait to turn their thing into a frog. They're going to be like, what? That was my thing. I wanted it to not be a frog. And I'm going to be like, too bad. Now it's a frog. Yep. Got him. They're going to be baby raging by then. God, I hope they are. Oh, it has flash. That's actually okay with me. Thank you for the frogs, Feather. Thank you for the frogs. Oh, oh my god, are they wearing hats? Are they? I don't know. Oh, oh no, they're not. My resolution on my second monitor is terrible. <laughs> so um if I if it that that that's actually just the only reason why I thought they were wearing hats. Also, I just get really excited when I see animals wearing hats, so just be forewarned. Um, huh. I wish they were wearing hats too, quite frankly. But we're going to sacrifice this food token and drain our opponent for another life. With our cauldron familiar, which is a cat. Meow. A good art on that card. Thank you. Feather, it looks like crow. Green eyes. Stop talking about your cats on stream. I love him. <laughs> Just because you're a famous TikToker because you post <laughs> videos of cats doesn't mean you get flaunted everywhere. Hey, uh, I have a thousand followers now, so, um... Also, I just realized our opponent's gonna get their entire graveyard back, Caroline. We, f we fucked up. You absolute buffoon. I should have caught you. But I got distracted by cat. This is what I... This is what your fucking cats got us. You see, you goddamn monster. I just care too much about them. We're about to, like, mill ourselves out, too. Our opponent's at 12... Did they just gain life? I thought they were at, I could have sworn to God they were at 10. You know, I have zero attention span, so I didn't notice. Thank you. Let's draw a card. Um, I'm willing to turn this guy into a frog. Now he's a frog. Frog time. What time is it? Frog time. Wow. We are just like, we're slow rolling this puppy mad. I also feel like I should lower him. I'm like looking at this and like, because I have to sit down because of the sun. Um, I feel like this is, there we go. Now you can see most of my upper torso. <laughs> he needs, you can see my fupa. Oh my God. I got some, I got some fat boy pride going on. I need to shave my beard. I know I look like kind of like a neck beard right now. You have a lot of bear energy right now. I'm, I'm the best bear. Don't let anybody tell you differently. I wonder if there's bears in this set. God damn it. Did they just make me discard two cards? They did. Just make a whole deck of bears. I could, but like <laughs> not on this app. But that is a thing I can do. So I think we just lost. You absolute buffoon. How dare you. Oh yeah, we just definitely lost. 
Are you gonna forgive me? No. Fuck. <sighs> Should have known better. I'm gonna take a drink. I'm so disappointed. I think you're just using me as an excuse to fuel your alcoholism, but I'll accept it. Yeah, we're gonna concede here because we just a thousand percent lost. After this attack, we would just lose on our next turn because we only have two cards left in our library, and this attack would mill us too. Our opponent had a reshuffle effect, so yeah. I feel like we're playing suboptimally here because our pool was bad, and that's usually what I just blame it on. Um, not having a cohesive pool, which Caroline definitely knows what that means. Not taking bl not taking the blame, I see. I never take the blame because I'm 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 a demigod. I'm your perfect. God damn it. But we're at two losses. Um, right now we are not making money moves. As is that Cardi B? I or is that Nicki Minaj? I have no idea, bro. I'm pretty sure it's Cardi B. That's something I do not have knowledge. Of. I think we're being Cardi B right now. <sighs> now we're facing Tibbs bow. And this is not a keepable hand, so we're going to mulligan that. But this is a keepable hand. Okay. Let's put an island on the bottom of our library, because we just need a forest. We're going to opt on our turn, because I don't play those mind games with my opponent, Caroline. Boom. Stolen by the Fae. The Fae are gay. Yeah, they help. Yeah, they help. What? <laughs> the, the fairies are gay icons. Hey, we need a forest. You're not a forest. But what if I want to be a forest? That's a choice you can make. Can't stop me. Can't stop. Won't stop. Um. Gosh darn it. R.I.P. Yeah. Big rip. Big rip. Being foolish. Well, I'm not, because now we have our Vantress Paladin with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, snap. Seven Dwarves. Wow. Gets plus one, plus one for each other creature named Seven Dwarves you control. You can have up to seven cards named Seven Dwarves in it. Get it? Because it's like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh, you did not have to say that, bro. <laughs> Do you get it, though? No, I didn't get it. I don't think you hit it hard enough. Vehicular homicide. That's just the plot of Snow White. Really? Yeah. He didn't know. I had no idea that Snow White was centered around vehicular homicide. Yeah. And they, they don't show it directly, but um, the messages are there. Does that make it a shockumentary? Yeah. Sweet. Essentially. I enjoy that. I can, as the kids say, get down with that dog. Yeah, me too. Our opponent's up to five mana. Our deck is just dirtling and doing nothing. Uh, I think they just, how the kids still say, fucked our shit up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I mean, I was, Sorry, I'm just zoning out right now. I was just waiting for you to respond, and you were just staring at me, blankly. I want to play this Keeper of Fables. Why is our opponent doing this to us? Because you suck. That's actually very true. <laughs> I do suck. Who told you? Nobody told me, but I noticed. Because I'm a star at Chief Gathering. Player. Very true. I know everything. I bet you do. Um... Let's return that to their hand. Pay that. Return that. Make three fairies. Swing for two. And then next turn we can maybe play this Keeper of Fables, hit them with some fairies, draw some cards, and try to regain a footing. Yeah. And if we get rid of the Spore Cap Spider, we're looking good. That's all I'm saying. Because, like, they're not really doing anything right now. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spider-Man does. 
I'll take two. I know what I'm about. Do you know what you're about, son? Um, not all the time. Good. We'll swing for four. They'll block a creature and take three, and then we get to draw a card. Ooh, an Island. I love Islands. Play a 2 2 flyer and pass. Island? Island, yes. Mm, it's very good. Island. Tis boo. At it again. Just tis booing things up out here on the field. Tis boo? More like tis boob. <laughs> You're canceled. <laughs> Goodbye. The collar you are trying to reach is no longer available. Goodbye. I'm the master of roasting. That's nice, sweetie. That's nice, buddy. You said it, not me. Maybe it's just nice to be sweaty. Please stop talking. For the love of fucking Christ, please stop talking. <laughs> I think that's the first time you've ever said that to me. Turn... What can I say? You just turn into a different person in front of the camera. Yep. Well, we're going to swing out at our opponent with all of our flyy boys, because they have wings. We're losing one every turn, but we're, we're making strides and drawing cards. Oh, now we can play our cat. Morale. What's up? Aha, <laughs> aha. It's a good cat. Aha. This is going to suck, though, because we can't block it with anything. Foolish. I know I am. Thank you. Fuck, they keep destroying our things. I wonder what's going on in our opponent's head right now. What do you think? Probably but That's what I think about. That's sad. Look how I get into mode. You think about butts when you play Magic? Yep. I think you might be one of the only Magic players to think about butts while they're playing. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure most of them are like thinking about like how they're when they're gonna text the mom to pick them up. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, you're right. Ooh, Ginger Brute. I'm a pro because I think about butts. Actually. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna make it so he can't be blocked this turn, except by creatures with haste. Swing in there. Fuck, this thing has haste. I'm dumb. I'm dumb as fuck, boy! Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh god, the humanity. Gotta get your shit together. Gotta shit my get together. <laughs> what is going on right now? I'm getting fucked up, bro. This is whack. I feel like this is so whack right now. Because you're bad at video games. Well, first off, this is a trading card game, not a video game. Yeah, but it's like... It's... Do you know the definition of video game? I refuse to look up the definition of video game to try to prove you right. Well, I'm taking a history of video game class. And it's a game that's on the video... Video screen. You know. I don't. Absolutely. I'm telling my mom. Well, I'm going to get in with some flyers. They're going to block one of them. Look, there they go. They blocked it. See, I told you. Wow. Yeah, I'm a psychic, actually. As a psychologist, I'm part psychic. Um, and I'm going to end the turn. Yeah, I believe you. Please stop. Okay. Look, they're going to make two white mouse creature tokens. I'm so excited for this. Oh, look how cute they are. Look, they, oh, my God. It's it, it thinks it's people. It's holding it's holding a little pin. That's adorable. That looks like our cat bubbles when she's in her hind feet. Good. <laughs> she looks like a human. And from here on out, the mouse is also named Bubbles. Good. This shall be law. I can stand behind that. Oh, we finally found a forest. How many cards do we have left in our library? Sixteen. That's not good. I'm sick. Shut up. <laughs> Can you stop referencing vines every five minutes? What 
can I say? I'm TikTok star, so I have to reference Vine. You had one. To TikTok. You had a cat video that people looked at on TikTok. Yeah, I had one cat video. Don't want to get to your head. It's my one hit wonder. I'm famous. Mm hmm. I feel like our opponent's going to swing out right now. Yeah. See? I had a feeling. That feeling was correct. Um. So we take three from this? I'm okay with that. This seems this is gonna be like a terrible card for us in their hand. That's what's cool. I'm just gauging things based on how I think they're gonna go. Uh Oh, okay. That's actually not terrible. Oh, never mind. We died. <clears throat> Whoops. Well, that was the f end of our first sealed event. If I were in the chat right now, I'd be sending all the baby rage. I feel like that's something to baby rage about. But I also feel like we're going to go back because I like wasting money. <laughs> We're gonna open up six more packs of Throne of Eldraine and okay. do do one final. Hoorah! Sounds good. Oh my god, there's so many multicolored spells in this one. I don't like it. That doesn't seem good. Um. That looks really cool. You look really cool. Shut up. Take a compliment. God. That's cool. There's a troll. I think that's cool. People tell me I look like a troll. Why are you laughing? It's so serious. I'm gonna play that. Play this. I want to put Ginger Brute in there because I feel like we every deck we play has to have Ginger Brute in it. Um, Spinning Wheel seems really good. Put a Lance on our Knights. What the frick, bro? I like that guy. I like this guy. I like that guy. I like that. All that glitters is gold. That's actually a Smash Mouth reference in Magic Gathering. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. How'd you notice that? Wow. Um, I didn't notice that until you said it. Yeah, that's because all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars. <laughs> Break the mold. <laughs> uh. Play the troll. Um, We're going to bake into a pie again. Yeah. I love making pie. Same. Merchant of the Veil seems like good fixing. That seems good. That looks good as fuck. We were playing a lot of humans here, which we really are. This isn't even that good. Oh, no cat? We have so much baby rage in the chat. That was from you. Yeah. Why are you putting baby rage in my chat if you're on my chat? Wow. Just because I like to baby rage. Wow. I do it all the time. That's no fair. Who's streaming. That's fair, actually. Is it because you're baby? Yeah, I'm baby and I rage. Ah. Uh. Also, my glasses and the uh, 
camera. They look like a anime glare. They're kind of cool. Why are there children screaming outside? I live in a college town. <laughs> who who made a bad choice? You know, sometimes kids just have to scream. You have to accept it. That's fair. That card seems pretty good. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll play that guy. That looks pretty good too. We'll put two of those in. Um, do I have any more knights I can put in? Milady. Milady. I can hold the door open for you, Milady. Thank you. I think that's gonna do it. We're, we're kind of playing like knight slash humans here. I want to put my soaring sleeves on to pimp on these fools. Just like those bad boys. Let's run it back. Wow. Are you ready to play Mardu Knights? No. Do you know what Mardu means? I really don't, actually. Wow. Wow. She doesn't even know what Mardu means. Can I get an F in the chat? <laughs> wow. She thought, she said she was a magic professional, and she doesn't even know what Mardu means. Wait, our opponent's Fibblethip. Fuck yeah. I didn't know there was a Fibblethip avatar, and I want it now. Um... Oh, God, this isn't like a great hand, but it's not bad, so I guess we're keeping it. We'll play a mountain and pass. We can now destroy an artifact, like that golden egg. Perfect. Get your color fixing the fuck out of here. Now we have a drawbridge. Fuck, I should have saved it for that. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But now we're going to play an Embereth Shield Breaker. Next turn we can play Embereth Paladin, make it a 5-2 with haste. You know what that does? It, does it breaks through their wall, like Miley Cyrus's hit song Wrecking Ball. That's exactly what happens. Miley Cyrus breaks the wall. Thank you. Aha! Wow! Aha! Aha! What's up? Do they have a combat trick here? What has flash? I don't know if things have flash. But... Adobe flash? Yeah, Adobe flash. Did you know that program is called Animate now? Oh, I didn't. Thank you. If, apparently, if you didn't know, Adobe flash is called Adobe Animate now. Yep. Wow. I know because I'm in art school. Shut up. Go back to art school, you nerd. I'm across the state from my art school. Maybe you shouldn't have come to hang out with me, then. Mm. I don't know why our opponent just did that. Are they giving up? Maybe they're just a bad player. Well, I'm going to bake their thing into a fucking pie, and then we're going to hit them for seven. Yeah. Just bake. It's pie time. Mm -hmm. If we draw a white land, I think we just win. I think we do. Ugh. Well, we have to pass back. Do we even have white mana in this deck? This is frustrating. Be your own white mana. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Do it. I can't. It's easy. Stop. I'm feeling bullied and intimidated. <laughs> you are seeing a grown man cry? You want to? Yeah, I want to. <laughs> They're at eight. We just didn't go fast enough because we didn't get our mana base online. <clears throat> Whack. Well, I guess we're gonna let Ginger Brute swing through. Ginji from Shrek. That's exactly what he is. He sacrificed himself for the better good. He really did. Shrek was a phenomenal movie. It was. Especially Shrek 2. Class. Very much so. If we find a white mana, we can start putting counters on all of our creatures, which would be great, because that makes it so they're slowly not going to be able to kill our creatures. Fuck. Now they have a cre creature with haste. Do 
This is getting worse for us by the second. Can confirm. Oh my god. Well, we're going to lose two life and draw a card. Draw two cards. Um... Yeah, we just can't do anything. This is terrible, Caroline. You buffoon. I am a buffoon. You got donkey brain. We'll at least have our Clackbridge troll next turn if we don't do anything else. Right? Yes. Thank you. Finally, someone that understands the intricate workings of this game. Mm -hmm. Again, I know everything. Can't question me. Oh my god. I feel like this is this is terrible. Cuz it is. Well, we're just going to die. <laughs> Concede. We were dead. That's okay. That game took too long. We like had a great start. I want to make sure that this didn't just make our deck so it didn't have any white mana in it cuz that would be very upsetting. I just want to make sure we just didn't draw it. No, we do have we have more white mana than any other color. That's mildly frustrating. Well, let's let's run it back. Let's go back. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hey. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it again. Yeah. It's a murder. Murder. Um, I'll keep this. We can claim our firstborn child. You get to claim your firstborn child, Caroline. I haven't had a firstborn child, so... What would you like to claim one? No. It's kind of like when you have to claim your bagging at the airport. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good being childless. Well, also, you can see now that, like, up there, where it, it was very... Oh, wait. Lower my finger more. Up there, <laughs> where it was, um... Uh, sunny earlier. It is no longer sunny. So. Not a flashlight. I love this. Hit our opponent with our ginger brute. I love this guy. I'm never gonna stop loving him. Bitch. Iconic. I'm never gonna stop loving you. Bitch. Thank you. I was waiting for your input there. Oh, okay. Youthful knight. <coughs> I wonder if he's full of youth. Uh, maybe. No, there's, there's, a, there's a chance. I've never thought about it that way. Thank you. Oh, we have our artifact destruction guy. What's up? Artifact destruction guy. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're eating her. And then they're gonna eat me. Oh my god. Get your classic children's horror movie references <laughs> out of here. What, I will never. What was, what was the name of that horror movie again? Troll 2. Troll 2. You're, I look like a troll, too. <laughs> yeah, you do. Fuck yeah. Bitch. Well, I got hurt my feet. <laughs> um, let me play my Lance, bro. Bro, 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 let me have my lance. Bro, oh god. Oh no. Bro didn't let me have my lance. So rude of them. That means I have to kill him now. Um. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to end the turn here. We're not doing a lot right now. I feel sad. I'm deeply saddened by this twist and turn of events. We could play this guy, but I kind of want the artifact destruction because I feel like our opponent's about to drop something unfair and blue on us. Probably. Thank you. Um, no, he just plays his Hypnox Sprite. That's okay. Mmm, the cool, refreshing taste of Sprite. Crispy Sprite. It's actually going to be a Sprite ASMR stream. What's up? Sprite, please sponsor me. <laughs> Oh, 
We're gonna rally for the throne. Make two guys. Two guys are better than one. That's what she said. Nice. Uh, I feel like we're just going to play this this turn, and then next turn our opponent's going to play an artifact, and I'm going to feel like a dipshit. Because you are a dipshit. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Again. That's what I do. That's just how it would be. That's just how it would be. My job is to insult you. So tiny. Maybe I'm the reason you're being so bad tonight. Being bad with what? My gaming? Yes. Because you called it gaming earlier? It is... It's a video game. No, it's, it's not. On the video. You don't know anything. You're not. I'm literally taking a class on this. You are not my dad. I'm taking a gamer class. You are. I'm that cool. Wow, there's a class for gamers. Yeah. They can't go say. To my school. They can't say they're discriminated against anymore. There's a class for them. Yeah, they can't. Gamers, the true highly discriminated against population. Yep. Um. Oh yeah, boy, boy. Make this boy unblockable, boy. It's your boy, skinny penis. You are on some kind of fierce tirade tonight with your language, young man. man. Young man. <laughs> I took like a couple sips of the drink and I'm just gone now. You literally like drank barely any of yeah. your blue motorcycle. Well, I, I drank like that. The camera can't see, but I drank like that. That's because, yeah, you're not holding, like, you, you could say, like, I drank that much, but instead you're, like, down here off camera, I drank that much. Hey, guys, just so you know, I drank that much. I drank that much. If you don't know what a blue motorcycle is, it's like a, a Long Island iced tea on crack. It's essentially the crackhead edition of Long Island iced tea. Yeah, that's why I'm taking forever to drink it, because there's so much. I mean, I can't take bolts like this. Gulp? <laughs> yep. Why are we on the same page here, and why am I just eating ass right now? Because you eat ass on Thank you. Sometimes you just need to hear that. Sent Stop sending baby rage to my chat. No. This is like the most alive my chat feed has been in a long time. <laughs> yeah, and we're just super dead now. That was our only hope, and we lost. <coughs> I blame you, Caroline. <coughs> yeah, it's all my fault. Pretty much. We have some like really dope fucking enchantments and we're not seeing them. I feel like they'd be game winning for us. If we actually like cast them. Yeah. Thank what you. He said. It's a frog. He's so thick. He's very thick, I love him. I love him too. He's like what your friend posted in our chat earlier. Yeah. Yeah, frog. Oh, uh, we'll keep this. Feather friends, you need to change your name to Feather Frog. Please do. Probably not the chat. If you are, do it. Yeah. You get out of my swamp. We're playing against Lemonstein. It's like Frankenstein, but more sour. And lemon grab. Lemon grab and Frankenstein both put together. Why do we say you weeb? God. You weeb. <laughs> Adventure Time is actually just an anime. Yeah, it is. Um. Let's play a Ginger Brute. Oh, wait, maybe Breaku. No, no, I did not. From Breaku. Breaku. Breaku, are you watching? He's not. No. Yes, yeah, right. Next time he tells me he chimes into my streams, I'm going to tell him he's fake. Scalding Cauldron. Are you? A, would you describe yourself as a Scalding Cauldron? Ah, uh, yeah. I'd say so. Fair, because I would also describe you in such a fashion. I like the scald. The cauldrons are cool. Especially you scold me sometimes for being dumb. Yeah. I feel like that's different though. Yeah. <coughs> Not 
What's that? Uh-huh. <laughs> What's that? Dude? Uh-huh. What's up, dude? Uh-huh. You're gonna play a two-one flyer? Ha. Hypnotic sprite? Ha. Your hair? Wah. Your man? Wah. I forget how the rest of that thing goes, but it's funny. You're funny. Looking. Uh-huh. Oh. You wanna block me? That's what I thought. Go back. Take the L. So our opponent just playing mono blue. Blue's a good color. Thank you. It's actually a hue. Excuse me? I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to say something that would like trigger the artist in you. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Thank you. I tried. We're gonna swing for three. Opponent's down to 14. Hey, ask me back. Our opponent, looking at their hand, deciding what they want to do. What's the middle name? Do they like French toast? I like French toast. They're playing a 3-2 defender. It's Ariel. Look. Oh my god. They're tanking us for four monster frisbees. Well, we'll play another Rally for the Throne. We really just need a red mana, though. You sure you don't want a red mana? Pretty sure. Okay. Because I like the blue man group. Oh, that's true. But instead, they're the red man group. Yeah, I think red man is a little bit off brand. Thank you. So I either want to find a red mana to get this down. Or if we were to find that spell that pumps all of our guys permanently, that would be cool. That'd be kind of neat. No, oh, hey, that's pretty neat. Wow. Oh, jeez. I need to buy one of those. Ah, oh, man, we are just like losing left and right today. I feel like you're bad luck, man. Going in for the fences still. Mm -hmm. We're just not getting there. Oh, it's down to nine. We're down to ten, though. Opponent can deal seven if they want. That hurts my feelings. Stop looking at TikTok. <laughs> I'm famous. You're not TikTok. You have a thousand followers on TikTok. That's not famous. I have a one-hit wonder. You you are a one-hit wonder. 500,000 views, bitch. 1,004. I used to be a one-hit wonder on Tumblr when that was still a thing that people actually did. I still do. I'm a hipster. I'm cool. You are a hipster. I think we just let our opponent win. He's absolutely cool. Please do. That's actually kind of funny. They should have blocked it and they didn't. Or sacrificed a creature to it and they didn't. That actually might let us win the game. Oh. The first the no, we've won several games. Like two. But, you know. I'm not letting that get to me. Fuck. As far as I've seen, I've seen all losses. Never mind, they turned it into a frog.
They frogged us good. Get frogged. Caro, Caro. They're actually... I feel like they fucked up pretty bad here. We still can't find a red source, so... But literally, we just need a red, a single red land. But now we've kind of, like, evened out the game. Right? Yeah. Thank you. I hope this is a mountain on top. I hope you're a mountain. Thank you. I am a top. <laughs> no. No. Oh, God, no. Why? I'm going to sacrifice this food and make us gain life. Nom, nom, nom. We're back to seven. Wow. Probably down to five. Exactly down to five. It's not two. Why? We need a red land. These aren't red. That's what we get for playing three color decks with no mana fixing. Fair. Well, we have one more turn. If we don't find anything next turn, we just lose. Oh my god. Well, they just took our like only chance of winning away from us. How does that work? What? And that's game. Doug Dimadam. What's up, I'm Doug Dimadome of the Dinsdale Dimadome. So we just like zero three that. That was terrible. Well, I think that does it because we just we just lost all of our money. This was like compared to the last mom's basement streams pre release event, we just bombed hard. I blame Caroline for eighty five percent of it. But, it's my fault. Um I, I can do that. So I can say since having the uh the stress of an expertise magic player such as herself right behind me this entire time, um uh, it actually just threw me off my whack entirely. Uh the Emperor did not in fact have a new crew. So, uh, yeah, but that will do it tonight for us at Mom's Basement Streams. Um, oh, my God, wait, sneezing. Bless you, brother. I should have muted my microphone for that. It's probably terrible. <laughs> anyway, we have two new streamers now. We should be streaming every day on Mom's Basement Streams. Wow, isn't that cool? Um, catch me every Saturday still while I do funny stuff like this because everybody loves watching me. Like losing at magic. Because I'm such a funny and enjoyable guy to watch when I punt really hard in the game of Magical Gathering. Uh, but... As you can see here, I have a ton of Throne of Eldorain wild cards, so we are going to be having some fun with this new standard. I have a pretty big vault that I'm just waiting to cash in too. Uh, so yeah, we'll be able to play some stuff. Catch me next week. We'll play some new Throne of Eldorain sauce and standard. Uh, I really don't want to try their eternal format until they put the old sets in it, but maybe when that comes around, we'll do that. I want to do some brawl stuff too once brawl becomes a thing. But yeah, um, thank you for tuning in tonight, guys. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you follow our channel if you are not, and you like and subscribe, and put us on that whatever that notification thing is so you, you hear from us 24-7. We incessantly bother you in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep or enjoy your time with your family. But there we are right around the corner instead of your family. Yeah. Yeah. You said it pretty much. That's pretty much it. Yeah. But yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, we'll catch you later. Peace out, nerds.